That's like looking in a mirror. Damn! Just kidding. That's one seriously chunky monkey. In fact, this morbidly obese long-tailed Damn. macaque might just be one of well, the best balls on the planet. <gasps> and he's not the, the macaque. Look at my bird's balls, bro. It's not a macaque. It's in my balls. One seriously oh chunky monkey. Oh my gosh, monkey. Arcadia, you okay? In fact, this morbidly <laughs> obese long you see those balls? Those are some fucking meaty clackers. Fattest animals on the planet, and he's yeah, not the I, only one. I'm more interested in his belly than the, you know. To plump pups and oh, look at that dog get Stick around as we oh, take a long the tiger, that tiger look at so some cute, creatures chunky. who could really do with less of the nah, comfort. That tiger's food. not hunting anything. Trust me. After this <laughs> one, your body is gonna be crying out for a salad. Wow, well, that, that ring is almost like me. <laughs> Cassie the Collie. Part of the fun of being a dog owner is being able to pamper your pooch. But some people take things a little too far, okay, and that's when you definitely end up with a porky pit down. that looks like this. This is the seven-year-old collie named Cassie, who once held the unofficial title of Britain's fattest dog. From when she was a pup, Cassie had never eaten dog food. Instead, she gorged herself on a daily diet of takeaways, chocolate, sweets, crisps, and her favorite, Sunday oh, rolls. Look at it, baby. Her elderly owner treated her like a human best friend. She'd cook twice the amount she needed to give half to Cassie and would order double if she was having a takeaway. But when she fell ill and went into uh, hospital they, in 2011, Dog Trust dogs. Rescue Center in Kenilworth, Warwickshire took Cassie in. And they couldn't quite believe what a sorry state work she was here? in. No, it's Cassie work wasn't here. just unfit. She could barely move. Her weight had Short soared to nine stone and two pounds, three stone? times her healthy weight. Nine and she stone, was so um, heavy that she had to be lifted by two workers using a sling oh, under her Oh, there belt. you go. So 58 kilos. She couldn't kilos, walk more than so three minutes kilos. without getting tired out and had to be shaved so painful bed sores caused by her massive bulk could be treated. But volunteers about, weren't like, going to let Cassie go down without a fight. Crazy. They put her on a rigorous fitness and diet regime, which involved dry food, swimming, and walking on the treadmill. Within just six oh, months, great. Cassie Honestly, managed Arcade, to lose really half her body weight. Content. Thanks to Cassie's wow. hashtag Amazing. Transformation Tuesday, she was deemed fit and healthy enough to be rehomed and has been given a whole new lease on life. Big Barsic. Oh, big Dogs can be greedy, but cat owners overfeed their moggies too. In fact, that thousands of fat of felines chunk. have come through the doors of animal care centers of NYC, but none have been quite as big as Barsic. The five-year-old cat, Jeez. who weighs a jaw-dropping 41 pounds, left staffers stunned in October 2019 <laughs> when he arrived pounds. at the shelter with his normal-sized housemate, Suki. Jeez, what the pair found themselves cat? homeless when their family decided to move house and couldn't bring the pets with them. This tabby is so tubby that he's just five pounds shy of the current Guinness World Record for fattest what? cat, which is currently held by Hemi, a cat owned by Australian man Thomas Weiss, who weighed 46 what? pounds when it died in March cat. 1986 That's like a at the age of, of bread. The shelter wasn't quite equipped to handle a cat of Barsic's enormous girth, and he didn't fit into the normal cat kennels, so staff were forced to improvise by letting him rest in the office instead. Luckily, Barsic and Suki didn't have to wait too long for Angelical Cat oh, Rescue, so a New York nonprofit organization, RV. to pull them out of the shelter and place them in a foster home. When it was finally time to head to foster mom Angelique Lezzalino's home, the shelter staff had to find the biggest carrier they had, and it took two adults to carry Barsic. Oh my gosh, bro! It's bro. Only as soon as it was pounds. safe to make changes to his diet, I know, that's what Angelique I'm thinking, vowed to put how Barsic on a strict fitness regimen until he's have. ready to find his forever home. If you can't get enough of this massive moggy, you can even follow him on Instagram at Big Barsic to track his weight loss journey. Whoa, those are some seriously spoiled pets. Some people just need to learn not to treat their animals like humans. Have you ever seen a pet as overweight as poor old Cassie or Barsic? We're breaking Maybe you had to put your own pooch on a nah, strip down after they started I wanna see an overweight. Tell me about your own predator pet stories below. In the wild, and I'll bro. comment on some of my favorites. That means he's a killer. Now let's look at some more chunky creatures. Thumbelina the squirrel. <laughs> Big Squirrels Thumbo. are more adorable than we give them yeah. credit for. Don't believe oh, me? Oh, let me Just take a look at this. Damn! Ladies and gentlemen, may I present no, to bro, you don't know. Wait, that's the it. squirrel. This eastern gray squirrel has attracted over 200,000 followers on Instagram, and she loves yeah, nothing gonna, more than a good snack. Here. But how did this tree-dwelling rodent end up living her best life as an online celeb? 
When Thumbelina's mom's nest was destroyed due to nearby construction in March 2016, she crawled into a nearby 10-story window and gave birth to two babies on a stranger's bed. That stranger was 35-year-old Christina Reyes, who arrived home with her husband Michael to find two tiny pink babies resting under their pillow among some dried pine needles and branches. Luckily, Christina has rehabilitated orphan squirrels since 2008, so she rushed over to tend to the oh, tiny so squirrel animals. Night, then. Sadly, one of the babies caught a fever and died a few hours later, oh, no. but Thumbelina pulled through. She wasn't like other oh. squirrels. She fed from a bottle longer than usual, didn't open her eyes for nine weeks, rather than the usual four and a half, and couldn't Maybe jump or like climb. So it. Christina oh my decided God, it would be best to officially oh, adopt it's her a instead. Although Thumbelina lives on a strict diet, including lots of veggies, she's always had trouble managing her weight. <laughs> Maybe a hormone issue. She weighs just over two pounds, oh, but she should bigger. really be between one and a half to 1.75 pounds. She's not that In 2018, the vet yeah, finally got say. to the bottom of things and determined that Thumbelina has a hormone imbalance that causes oh, her to gosh, gain weight right. naturally okay. alongside lots of be vet now. Okay, cool. Thumbelina also suffered from polycystic ovarian syndrome, but she has since had a really? successful it's hysterectomy and that. is fueling herself up during recovery. Let's see. Tubby tiger. <gasps> oh my seen a gosh, you so lovely. Me neither. Well, until now. Oh my Siberian gosh, I want to hug from a Chinese zoo really put the big in big cat. They might be funny to look at now, but when photos of these porked up animals lounging around went viral back in 2017, they spark some serious concern. The cats live at the 144 hectare Siberian Tiger Park in Harbin, China's highland province. And despite jokes that the animals had been too well fed over the Lunar New Year holiday, the park's owners claimed it was totally natural for them to pile on the weight for winter. According to the park, it is the nature of the cats to eat more to oh, adapt to the harsh go. winters in Harbin, which oh could gosh, be as low as minus 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. But animal welfare groups weren't buying it. Karina O'Carroll, Animal Asia's Foundation's Animal Welfare Education Manager, said she'd never seen wild tigers as fat as the ones at the Chinese Zoo. The obesity level of the cage cats in question indicated a wholly inappropriate and unnatural diet. Apparently, wild tigers are perfectly capable of controlling their own weight, and getting as big as these bad boys could lead to cardiovascular joint issues and would inconvenience them when they hunt for food. To try and help the tigers trim down by the time spring Eat rolled around, the park turned to the latest in diet technology, drones. They may be what? fat, but that certainly didn't stop the big cats from chasing down and mauling the machine in no time. How much are they Uncle like? Three hundred dollars. I know what oh, you're thinking. Bro. Damn. Oh, bro! Damn. Oh, big balls! On the pounds after his acting career took a nosedive. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. This monkey really is scoffing a bag of Lay's while eating any rogue chip from his enormous belly. All he needs now is a can of Duff beer. Back in 2016, this enormous 27-kilogram long-tailed macaque, nicknamed Uncle Fatty, went viral after pictures and videos of his balloon-like oh body made the rounds gosh. online. The monkey had been fed a diet of pounds. sugary melons, oh milkshakes, sweet corn, noodles, and other junk food by tourists visiting the Kun Kala Mine yeah, in Bangkok, Thailand. Thailand is home to hundreds of thousands of wild monkeys, including gibbons, macaques, really? langurs, and lorises that are popular with tourists. But they can also be a nuisance they when they turn become that too reliant on free handouts. Uncle Fatty <laughs> eventually can't. came to the attention of wildlife officials hey, who received American, reports huh? from concerned locals, <laughs> concerned. and he was rescued and taken for a health checkup. According to Kawano Mongol Takafa, the organizer of Thai primate conservation group Monkey Lovers, Uncle <laughs> wasn't sick. Wait, just no, 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 no. Thai primate conservation group Monkey Lovers. Monkey Lovers does sound You gotta wrong. call yourself something else. Please call yourself Monkey Protectors, Monkey Anything. Not monkey, monkey Lovers. Not Monkey. I'm picturing you fucking these monkeys like, yeah. <laughs> I checked up on him. He was, he was real nice. He said, oh, uh, no, oh, God. He told me. <laughs> He does not mind being fed from the tourists, but we love these monkeys. It's like, could you imagine the spokesperson is fucking talking, and then he's just like got a hard dick talking at the podium, just like we don't want to have sex with the monkeys. Hard dick is just pointing out, like, <laughs> no, you know what's even worse? The the dick's not hard yet. He starts talking about the monkeys, and his dick starts getting hard. This is Coco here. We love her. She's an amazing monkey. She, um, 
has nice monkey hips that go up to that monkey ass. And then, like, the reporters are like, oh, my God. <laughs> Mommy, what's in his pants? What's in his pants? It's growing. Like, yeah, this is, uh, oh, this is Ava. Another good monkey. We here at we here at Monkey Lovers love the monkeys. Call yourself something different, so these roasts aren't this easy. You know what I mean? Like I got a whole idea of you guys just being like saving. It's like a horror movie almost, where it's like the monkeys like going through the forest, being chased by hunters, and then it's just like, "Come here, monkey, we're gonna save you." They open up the van. He jumps in. There's a dude in fucking bondage gear, like. Oh my god. We're with monkey lovers. We're glad you could join us. And the monkey's like, no, let me out to the hunters. The hunters are like, no, monkey lovers got him. Ah, Death. Death would have been better, son, than what they're going to do to him. And then the son is like, they're fucking that monkey, aren't they? And then it just like cuts the black. Boom. Monkey lovers. The truth. Question mark. <laughs> you're, you're, you're so like the kind of director that would make that Winnie the Pooh um, horror movie. Uh, I mean, it's so bad, it's good. <laughs> any organization that is against monkey lovers, please hire me to do like uh, propaganda against them because it will be fucking hilarious. It'll just be like dudes with hard dicks chasing monkeys and like, <laughs> is this what you want? Is this who you want to be, your monkey savior? Just naked guys with hard dicks chasing them. Oh Uncle wasn't sick. Just uh, over say monkey lovers again, a deco. According to Kawano Mongol Takafa, the organizer of Thai primate conservation group Monkey Lovers, Ooh, Uncle wasn't Jesus. sick. Just overfed. He was then taken to a monkey fat camp to try and reduce his weight back down to oh, an no. acceptable 8 to 10 kilograms. I need a fat camp! A and monkeys <laughs> have one? around 20 you. years old. Uncle plays an important role in wow. the community of local monkeys as a natural leader. Although he still weighed a formidable 24.75 kilograms in August 2017 and hadn't quite shifted the overhanging belly, he'd shed an impressive 2 kilograms. Yeah, but I mean, can I just say something? Not be crude, but the way that his balls are hanging down, yeah. down yeah. Yeah. Those are some fu- Oh my god, they're strong too. Because they got to hold up to all that weight. After he it just was sat reported on. reported that he'd fallen off the wagon. Maybe he relocated or even died of old age. Personally, I like to think he's just hiding because he's ashamed of falling back into old habits. You can support the Find Uncle Fatty campaign for the low, low cost of liking this video. Oh, and you should probably There's subscribe a tiger and out there that is well Make sure you never miss out on any more amazing content. All done? Good. Right. Greedy Goldfish. Goldfish may not be the most really? exciting companion. Goldfish. Have you ever seen one this big? This fat fish right, became okay, something of a some... minor online celebrity when its owner, YouTuber it Tip like that, no. uploaded no this random. hilarious clip back in 2007. According to Tip oh, Ongel, damn, bro. the fish had okay, gotten you know fatter and fatter back. over Jeez. the past eight years until the poor thing could barely even swim Wait, around the tank. <laughs> Eventually, the fish was inspected bro, by a vet yeah, and determined like that it had an intestinal angle. infection <laughs> which couldn't be helped. Sadly, Tip Onju posted an update in the description to say that the little fella passed away a year after the video was filmed and was buried in his backyard. Don't worry, <clears throat> that fish. Your legacy yeah, lives looks on. Like your butt. <laughs> that fish might be on the heavy side, but it's certainly not the biggest goldfish in the world. A better Wait, contender for that title is this guy, Rocky the Red Oronda. Jesus. The whopping guppy is six inches long, four inches wide, and weighs in at a staggering two pounds and that, that ten ounces. That looks like a pearl skeleton. Bigger than most dicks. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Bigger than yours. It's bigger than most dicks, okay? Not just mine. Four (laughs) inches wide, six inches long. Four inches wide and weighs in at a staggering two pounds and ten ounces. No wonder me. I don't think my dick is two pounds. A large bag of sugar or a premature baby. Proud owner Andy Green, who runs Star Fisheries in Sutton, London, definitely bigger than his dick. And Rocky's his dick. <laughs> to have a three-year-old fish imported from China. Green says Rocky is the largest Aranda ever imported into the UK, and if he was the seller, he wouldn't accept anything less than 4,500 pounds or around 5,700 dollars. Aranda's are characterized by a bulbous it. bump on their forehead known as a wen, and apparently there's a niche market for these fancy goldfish that can fetch a pretty penny. One thing's really? for sure. You wouldn't want to bring oh, this bad boy back for the fun anymore. fair. 
No, I think Dennis I've got one around that I'm not sure. Oh, look at Big Dog. There's plenty of dogs in the world. But if one plump pooch is going to give Cassidy a run for her money, it's this guy. No, this isn't <gasps> a Photoshop so job. This is Dennis the Miniature Dachshund, who weighed a colossal 56 pounds when nursing student Brooke Burton of, course, of Columbus, once they Ohio, ate it. first met him back <laughs> in June. Get that in our arcade. I will eat that dang crazy kid. ass. <laughs> Fed that dog pounds and pounds of food a day. Look at her. She was just like, he's just so cute. Here, eat some more ham. <laughs> and it's just like, lady, please stop it. He can't eat any more ham. Oh, my God. He's so precious. Here, take some more ham. Here, have some cake, darling. Please. I'm so sorry. He can't eat any more ham. He loves the ham. <laughs> 2013. He probably gives him the whole freaking pot. Fed him a diet consisting mostly of pizza and White Castle burgers. What? Which unsurprisingly, some burgers, bro. I was giving a burger out of money. Even worse. The six-year-old pup was so overweight. Even worse than ham, you give him pizza and White Castle burgers. Like, why is he eating like a fucking stoner? Okay, why the fuck? What is going on here? Is he smoking fucking weed and drinking fucking beers too? Like, what is this? This is not the life of a fucking college dropout. Like, what's going on here? Somebody needs to protect this dog. That he couldn't even oh my move gosh, a few feet bro. without losing his breath. And Maybe she's the one taking skin all the weight. Infections weed. caused by his paws constantly tripping over his loose flaps of skin. After convincing her uncle to let her, the dog is in a national lampoon movie. The size of four or five miniature <laughs> dogs. <laughs> That's why he's Rick eating like that. decided to put Dennis on a strict weight loss program. Bro, look at him go. Look his little legs. Roll down, down, down the fucking way. But that wasn't all. Dennis also had to have three skin resection surgeries to get rid of all his excess skin. Aww. The operations totaled a massive $2,800, but were kindly Jeez. paid for with donations made by people concerned about the state Aww, of the obesity in the US. Aww, Since they first met, Lucas helped Dennis lose 40 Wait a second. You gotta hear something. Listen Passive to that. $2,800, but were kindly paid for with donations made by people concerned about the state of pet obesity in the US. People... Bruh, really? That could be the owner that should be paying for that, not other people. No, but people concerned about the state of pet obesity in the U. So there's a whole group of people that are like, these fucking dogs are getting too fat. Have you? S I've seen my neighbor's cat. It looks like a fucking pig. And it's like they all <laughs> come together. They're just like Karen's mad about other people's dogs being fat. Like, yeah, yeah, they're like, well, they're like meetings, kind of things where they if get I like, to feed my like, dog like, and rub her down, you know, that's what we're going to do. But I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not in charge of feeding our dogs and they don't see No, 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 but, but can you just imagine like the, the, like in a room that almost like, you know, you know, like how you get, um, like the, well, look at the symbol. Is that all their the fucking symbol? Kind of deciding the next target of who we got to support. <laughs> Is that, that's the worst symbol ever. The hands covering the fucking, it's like, oh, we love you. We love our pets. Grab Dog our lovers? paws. That's bullshit. I feel like these are the same people that kiss their dogs in the mouth and like lick them and shit. And lick their yeah. oh, right. Since they first met, Brooke has helped Dennis lose 44 pounds. More than six. I'd be so mad if I was a oh dog. My gosh. I'm not going to lie. Now. Since they first met. Seriously, Brooke the photo helped... on the right makes him look even cuter. I I'm not going to lie. Bruh, okay. I would be so mad. I feel like if I was an animal, the idea of not having to run on a treadmill is like that's one of the only pluses of being an animal, and you are literally robbing that of of fucking him. Look at him. Yeah. He's like, why am I in one place and I'm putting in all this effort? It doesn't make any sense. Dennis lose 44 pounds, more than 75% of his body. Oh, look at him. He's on the right, though. To a trim tail wagger. She now hopes that right. his story will inspire here. other dog owners to be more conscious about their pet's weight. Oh. Poncho the sea lion. Poncho! You're on your way back from a successful fishing trip. Wait a second. See, again, Poncho, uh, no, no, this Poncho is what I said. Up. If you get fat in the wild, you're a fucking killer bruh that's the only way that's the only way to get fat as a sea lion is to catch hella fish and dodge all the sharks while you're doing it okay so he has to be like the toppest hardest killer possible i wonder well, how many seal pups he's sea lion hops sea lion aboard pup. your boat and tries to gobble down your hard-earned catch well that's pretty much what happened <laughs> he don't care. in fact this sea lion has quite the reputation for being a total greedy guts 
His name is Pancho, and he's something of a local legend Bro, in look at that Lucas, defiant Mexico, pose. which is one of the top fishing destinations in the world. The resort city is known for its beaches, and its waters are home to world-class striped marlin, tuna, and mahi fishing. But with all that fish Ooh, comes tuna. a throng of hungry sea lions. Pancho is a hit with tourists because of his brazen attitude, and he's been nicknamed Lord of the Sea Woofers, and the biggest <laughs> sea lion you'll ever see. Although oh, so he doesn't hunt shit. He just jumps on the fucking boats and begs like a goddamn dog. He has never been officially wise, sir. Pancho like, is definitely one hefty beast. And that's all thanks to his approach to fish nabbing. Rather than waiting around for fishermen to throw out free handouts, Pancho has learned how to beat out the competition by hopping right on oh the Oh my gosh, this is rudeness. instead. You have to admire He's his so craftiness. Cute. After all, a boy's He's got Air Force eat. energy, bruh. Oh, shine the orangutan. Oh my gosh, Oh shine the me after a lot this orangutan. <laughs> when this mahoosive monkey arrived at Monkey World Ape Rescue Center back in August 2010, she tipped the scales at an eye-watering 200 pounds. Big girl! Gee. The Borneo orangutan had been kept as a pet in South Africa for the past 12 years and lived on a junk food diet consisting of sweets, marshmallows, and other processed human hey, foods. Hey, don't bash marshmallows. Marshmallows are nice, bro. The who raised her had no idea what an orangutan's usual diet should be, and her misguided love left the poor monkey double her natural weight. Oshine was so accustomed to her previous life as a glorified dress-up doll that she became greedy. And as Dr. Allison Cronin, the director of Monkey World Wearing, puts it, her weight problem was the result of classic spoiled child syndrome. She may look cuddly and adorable, but obesity can cause orangutans to suffer a whole host of health problems. And Bro, that, that blood pressure, photo right there diabetes, looks like me after going for a disease. run of sushi. At Thankfully, local having been bar. switched to a diet rich in fruit <laughs> and veggies, Oshine managed to shift 55 pounds within a year. But what were you eating before? No, candy and marshmallows and stuff year of her arrival at the park and has continued to go from strength to strength ever since. Man. Oshine now lives with five other orangutans at the Ape Rescue Center and she has <laughs> even adopted a baby orangutan named Sylvester. Aww, Aww she's got a happy ending. Oh, she's got a baby! Holly the Bear. Oh, Yo, that's a big bear! For being big and cuddly, <laughs> but some of these fearsome fiends really take the cake. And eat it too, probably. In fact, Katmai National Park at Brooks Falls in Alaska holds oh, a in the wild? Fair week contest to celebrate the biggest, baddest specimens in the wilderness. In 2019, people took to Facebook to vote March Madness style on which bear has grown the fattest over the previous summer, and one came out on top. Holly the Bear. This beefed up beast beat out but like you say, she's probably a very the crown, successful hunter the then. official Facebook announcement day. of her win read, She is fat. She is fabulous. All hail Holly, whose healthy heft will help her hibernate until the spring. Long live the oh, queen yeah, of put on weight, don't The they? contest began in 2014, and it's not just about fat shaming. When it comes to brown bears, it turns out the more body fat, the better. Every July, the park's estimated 2,200 brown bears enter a state of hyperphagia, uh -oh. which basically means they can't stop eating. What's that mean? Totally hashtag relatable, right? This coincides perfectly apparently. with the arrival of hundreds Jeez. of thousands of delicious calorie-dense salmon, which swim up the Brooks River inside Katmai Park. The bears fill up on as much salmon as possible before they hibernate during the winter, when they could lose up to a third of their body weight. Holly just That's happened insane. to be 2019's best salmon guzzler. According to her National Park Service bio, Holly is also famous for adopting an abandoned cub back in 2015. Apparently, Aww. bears are selfish creatures who aren't known for displays of altruism, so it seems like Holly also has a big heart hidden under all that fat. What a worthy winner. Plus size serpent. Snakes that's might be one of the just just ate something. To mind when you think of that's all this is. Yeah, that doesn't count. Yeah, that don't count. Yeah, that don't count. Then, wait till you lay your Thank eyes you on this bad boy. This enormous anaconda was spotted by tourists in November 2019 bobbing in the water I love the, the adult pattern with yellow the anaconda, it's Mato gorgeous. Yeah, like, right, you're wondering it's just how eating the 16 foot serpent all. ended up in such a predicament, the answer That's is insane. pretty simple. It had just swallowed a capybara, also known as the world's oh, biggest no. rat. Capybaras can weigh up to no. 200 pounds. The friendship so the animal, no! The the river looking for a place to quietly digest its mammoth no. meal. It seems this anaconda had bitten off more than it could chew. Guys, don't eat friendship! Subtenant from the region's environmental military police, 
the snake was having difficulty moving anywhere fast because it uses its muscles and contraction for movement, but they were too busy trying to deal with the massive rodent in its belly instead. Once an anaconda has wrapped its body around its prey and restricted it to the point of asphyxiation using its powerful muscles, Bro, I can't believe it ate friendship. swallow prey it's not okay. larger than its body. They usually you need anything have no else but no friendship. guzzling down a variety of large animals like pigs, deer, caimen, and birds. But it seems like in this case, this poor snake's eyes are really bigger it's than really its hard. belly. Hungry Hedgehogs I love In June 2018, a hedgehog now thought to be the world's fattest on record was handed in to a rescue center in Aberdeenshire, Scotland. Weighing in at a Wait, whopping 5 pounds, the absolute hogzilla named Arbuckle was about Hugs. 4 times the size of your average hedgehog, God which damn. weighs around 600 grams or 1.3 pounds. A big boy. The critter could barely walk or form even its signature defensive ball. According to Keith Marley from the New Ark Animal Rescue Center, Arbuncle was about the size of a World Cup football thanks to some generous overfeeding. In fact, the person who brought Arbuncle into the center said they'd been feeding a number of hedgehogs, but this one stayed and refused to go. After being deemed the heaviest hedgehog on record, Arbuncle was put on a restricted diet and exercise regime. He may have been grumpy for a little while, but sometimes you just gotta be cruel to be kind. I don't blame him, Arbuckle bro. wasn't the only fat hedgehog to shock people after beefing up big time. He was like In July 2017, the people. this absolute <laughs> behemoth arrived at the vet's in the town of Shots in Lancashire it's with one boy. seriously baffling backstory. The spiky critter bro, was so bloated that he was now about the size of a beach ball. But it wasn't just one too many snacks that had caused his sorry <laughs> state. Because he'd been found by the side of the road, the vets speculated that the hedgehog, who they later nicknamed Zeppelin, had been clipped by a car, which punctured along oh, and trapped no. air beneath his skin. After x-rays confirmed their suspicions, his carers were able to carefully deflate the hog before sending him back on his way. I can only imagine what that felt like. Darius the Rabbit. Bunnies are pretty adorable, right? Damn. What about oh, I love this bunnies. beast? This happy Whoa. hopper named Darius is fat. four foot three inches boy. long and weighs in at almost 49 Bruh. pounds. Oh, oh, isn't there a thing where he eats too many rabbits, too much rabbit meat, you can actually starve? Biggest, and fattest rabbit. But it's a title he might not be able to hold on to for much longer if his own son Lewis has anything to say about it. Darius and Lewis years. are both members Jeez. of the continental giant breed, which was once bred for their meat, but are now prized as intelligent and loving house pets. Fortunately for them, the monstrous pair are owned by rabbit enthusiast Annette Edwards from Worcestershire, the UK's oldest glamour model. Worcestershire, because not of Worcestershire. their incredible size, both bunnies sleep in large dog crates rather than regular rabbit hutches, which likely couldn't support their immense weight. According yeah. to Edwards, <laughs> these fat fluff balls will chomp their way through about 2,000 carrots and 700 apples a year, one hay bale per week, as well as special rabbit food all of which racks up a yearly bill of around $6,365. Continental giants are known for their docile temperament, and in spite of their huge Bro, size I'm and appetites, the they're loved I by Annette's one. 10 children and 14 grandchildren. Really After one. another one of Annette's rabbits Go named Simon died in mysterious circumstances during a flight, she announced in 2018 that 10-year-old Dick- What? Who was murdering rabbits out here? They made it sound like he got taken out by an assassin. Died in mysterious <laughs> circumstances during a flight. Like it was like a whole fucking R at age of 47. Your target is a rabbit. Black. It's on a flight. Heading to bar stool. Stop it. It's just you like, <laughs> like what happened? 2018, the 10 year old Darius would finally be retiring from public appearances. Thankfully, Lewis has still got some growing to do, and he's destined to continue Darius's legacy. Who knows? Maybe he'll do a comeback tour someday. Anyone else feeling like they suddenly need to go out on a run? Just kidding. Why not stay? Jesus. Oh, gosh. That was crazy. Oh, my God. That was awesome.